BW1.com. We're going to do an unboxing of the AT&T LG Optimus G. Now, um, the LG Optimus G we actually saw not too long ago, the international version of it here. But now this is the care specific one, specifically for AT&T. Uh, AT&T is doing a little bit different with the boxing here that we normally seen with uh, past AT&T devices. We'll go ahead and do a little bit of unboxing here. Looks like it, it's weird. It's kind of got the logo down in here, but you flip to this side with the AT&T logo to actually reveal the phone here. Let me see. Go ahead. Let's see what else we have inside of it here. Directions, guys. You know you ain't going to read none of that. The uh, looks like it's uh, another quick start guide. And um, looks like you have your wall charger here and the micro USB port for charging and syncing. USB cord for charging and syncing. Of course, typical stuff that you only find in smartphones these days. Let's go ahead and open up the LG Optimus G. We'll at least take it out of the packaging here. Really powerful phone. One of LG's uh, most powerful phones they really released here in the US. They're really going back to. Uh, well, not really going back, but really starting to release more powerful phones. They really were sort of a mid-range sort of champion in terms of uh, what they put out here in the U.S., but now they're uh, going after sort of the top-of-the-line market, sort of where Samsung and HTC and Motorola are sort of dominating, and they want to throw their hat into that uh, into that as well. Let's go ahead and see here. Looks like we got most of the plastic off here, except for this piece here. Not a big deal. But we'll go ahead and do a quick tour around as it powers up here. It boots up here. Now it does come with a 2100 milliamp hour battery and that battery powers a 4.7 inch IPS display capable of 720p uh, resolution on it. it. does come with a quad core processor inside it and 4G LTE. And that's one of the key things about it is that it's a quad core processor which we haven't um, seen in the past combined with LTE. That's the two combinations. That is definitely um, something that, L that that's the first here for in the U.S. with LG. There's other devices that are going to be coming with that, like the HTC uh, One, um, HTC, well, I think One X Plus, and I believe the Galaxy Note 2, which will have those features. But LG can at least say that they, uh, they can claim that they're the first here in the U.S. to be able to do that. So it's pretty cool there. You can see this display, right? We're going to go through all that in just a moment. Front facing camera here. Look here on the side. You have, looks like your volume rocker. Pop this slide out here. This is your micro SD card right here for uh, storage. Looks like it comes preloaded with a bound a with a 16 gigabyte card, which is pretty cool. And uh, pop that back in here. And that's one other thing to note that's different from the international version here. This does have removable storage. Uh, the one that we saw previously at the Optimus G's launch event actually had 32 gigabytes built in and was not removable. It didn't have any um, additional storage options with it. SIM card right there. As well too. You see now it has sort of this smooth back finish instead of sort of that um sort of that unless you get this plastic off here. And then on the international version it had some more of a sort of a uh, bumpy finish, sort of a more rigid finish to it. This is more smooth and flat out. And the other thing has changed is this has an eight megapixel camera instead of the thirteen megapixel camera that we uh, saw in the international version. It's carrier dependent, some have a thirteen, some have an eight, but one of the differences is that the thirteen inch the camera lens actually sticks out a little bit further, and then on the eight a on a thirteen megapixel one, it sticks out a little bit further. With the uh, eight megapixel version, you see it's flat and flush with the with the um, whole phone here on the back. Non-removable battery, of course, and you have your power button there on that side. Three point five millimeter headphone jack, and you have your micro USB port here inside. A couple of screws here it gives a little bit sort of an industrial design there with that. But um, overall, feels good in the hand. Pretty light device, and overall. You know, pretty very good build quality. It kind of reminds me of how the uh, LG Intuition is, but a lot, uh, a lot smaller, a lot more um, pocket friendly, and definitely a lot more uh, uh, com comfortable in the hand. Go ahead and see. We have the tutorial here. Now it is running um, uh, Android on. It should be Android, I believe, 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich. We'll double check that. It's gonna probably get upgraded to. Let's go ahead and see. Go into the settings general here. About phone. Take a look here just to verify software. Android 4 dollars it up four. It does have on here. So it's ice cream sandwich. It is upgradable to Jelly Bean in the near future. Um, what I remember LG telling us here. It does have LG's UI on here. They call it Optimus UI. So it's pretty cool. It has some nice customizations to it and all. Um, but it, yeah, overall, like you see, it's really, really fast so far here too. Have your typical notification sections there. At the top, you have the NFC button. That's pretty cool. Something I haven't seen in other phones before. NFC right there at the top. Can edit this around, so that's nice. It's really all about all about cost customization here with the uh, Optimus uh, G here and LG sort of UI downloads widgets. Pretty cool there. It looks like typical preloaded software on it, but this is going to be definitely fun to kind of dive into and definitely uh, see how well this works, especially with the quad core processor inside of it and 4G LTE. 
eight megapixel of camera supposed to be much more improved should be pretty nice there overall um, so far pretty impressed about a pretty nice package but like I said this is just an unboxing for right now we're gonna give you our full review soon so but definitely stay tuned to that by subscribing to our YouTube page follow us on Twitter become a fan of our Facebook fan page connect with us on all, all those social networks the link to that is in the description and always remember to live your tech world in high definition